Okay, so it was a pleasure. Thank you for the a lot of food for thought. I think on on what you said. Uh, interesting. I was working with Clay Christensen uh, right after he he wrote the book. So the disruptive innovation idea uh, really stays in my mind uh, very closely. Um, well, I would say that definitely all all this is true, and I think that um, what we are seeing in this industry is. Uh, two things that usually happen in every industry uh, that matures. Uh, we are um, observing how we are discovering new ways of aligning the three markets that the legal firm confronts uh, usually. That is the market for professionals, the market for uh, capital, and the market um, for the client, for the client market. So if we think about these three markets, necessarily we are now looking at changes in the client market, definitely because they are becoming more knowledgeable. So it's uh, very clear, as you were saying, that it's less opaque. So basically going um, from less, more opaque to less opaque means that commoditization of the services is kicking in. And definitely that's a trend that any law firm needs to confront. Second is the capital market, what also has experienced a lot of change, and we will see still much more there. And also, there is another big change that is also the change of the professionals. What are they expecting from these firms? Now, let me just focus on the client market for a second, thinking about what's the client expecting. And I would say that, on the one hand, it is true that there is a need for a special or specialties of people that know a lot about something, but more and more what we need is people that have a very good integration of a solution. The clients are looking for solutions. And in many cases, the legal aspect is just one part of the solution. So what I have seen, at least in some of the big firms, and I'm working with some of them uh, that you mentioned, uh, Antonio, um, their, uh, their, the strategy that, that at least some of them are following nowadays is to think about how to sustain their competitive advantage, how uh, in front of, I would say, all these changes, not being commoditized faster as we are seeing when you have only one practice, but putting together three or four segments. In this case, you can think about accounting, you can think about the, you know, the legal side, you can think about the consulting side, and come up with solutions that integrates special knowledges or special knowledge from each one of these, of these uh, areas. What that means is, the question becomes, who is going to be able to sustain the competitive advantage? I would say, first of all, whoever has the best talent, true, so a very, very, very special boutiques that can really be the best in the world on something. Second, the ones that are able to solve problems with more point of view other than the legal side, not only the legal side, but that they are able to touch upon the other uh, parts of the solution as an integrated solution for the client. The client doesn't want to deal with many different providers. They want to deal with someone that brings something together. Now, if we think about the traditional law firm, who are we um, hiring? Who are we bringing in? Well, if everybody is a lawyer, as we should expect, that's a very different value proposition than the value proposition that another professional service firm can bring in, where the lawyer is just part of the solution. So I think that definitely um, uh, everything that you have put on the table, uh, it's, it's a lot of food for thought, because definitely there are they call it innovators, that are trying to come up with better solutions for the clients. So definitely, there is a disruption in the business model. So for me, it's very clear that there is a disruption, and this disruption is something that we need to take into account. Now, just only one last word on the professional side. I would say that um, it has been probably um, normal, quote unquote, to have at least the, the students that we have in this, in this program, they are receiving a lot of uh, inputs, not only from the legal side, but they are also being trained more from the, from the management side, something that previously probably was not so normal to find. So if at this stage they already have this mentality, this is also a change in the type of professionals that go into the legal firm, or they go into, into, the, yeah, into, the, into, into the law firms. So I see also there 
uh, some possibility that, that law firms are going to also react and not be so focused only on the technical side or only on the solution side, but also being able to compete with these other, I would say, professional service innovators that are coming up with better solutions for the clients. Um, I'm not going to go into the capital markets because I think that that, that would also bring another, another topic, but at least with these two areas, definitely I see what people are mentioning, and it's very worth it to, to, to study it and to, to put it on the table as, a, as, as something to research, because definitely there is a change and, and the organizations that are able to really answer to this, those changes are the ones that are going to win the war. Thank you very much.